15 tips I'm sharing today will help you declutter your closet, declutter your mind, and move your life forward in the direction you want it to go. And I'm here to guide you. It's easy, it's actionable, and you're not alone. For the first step, go get a notebook, a journal, something you write in, a piece of paper, it could be a post-it, whatever it is, and a pen. And I want you to just think about why you clicked on this video, why you're ready to declutter your wardrobe. Write it down. Is it to make your life feel lighter? Is it to let go of things, to get dressed easier? Whatever it is, write it down right now because this is what I want you to go back to throughout this process. If you start struggling, if you start giving up, if you start feeling like the emotional overwhelm, I want you to pause, take a deep breath, and go back to what you're writing down right this second to help you keep going through this process. The next tip is, I want you to schedule out a time to devote to decluttering your closet. If this feels overwhelming, start with 30 minutes. If it feels like you wanna do this all in one shot, I would say give yourself two hours. Schedule a time the same way you schedule your appointments, your meetings, your time to pick up the kids from school, whatever it is, make this your time to schedule it and make sure to show up. The next thing when you're decluttering your closet, you gotta be honest with yourself. You have to look at yourself and be really honest. There's no more hiding. There's no more going, you know, smoke behind mirrors. This is the time to take a good look at your clothes, at your wardrobe, and see what's there. See what's working, what's not working. And if for any reason you get stuck, go back to the original reason you wrote down in your journal for why you wanted to clutter your wardrobe. The next tip is find a way to make this fun for you. This is your self-care time. This is your time to really assess what's working for you in your life and what isn't and make it fun. Pour yourself a glass of wine, pour yourself a cup of coffee, whatever it may be, light a candle, put on your favorite music, put on your coziest loungewear and just dive in. The next step is you're gonna go through your closet and you're gonna pick out the items that you love wearing, that there's no question that you wanna hold on to, that you feel great in, you feel confident in. These are your go-to pieces. You wanna pull those items out and put them, I like to either, if you have a standing rack, you can use an empty standing rack, you can kind of use to sort through things, or maybe you wanna take everything out of your closet and then just start to put things back, you know, as we talk through this process, starting with this first grouping of items that you absolutely love. Whatever way works for you to do this process, you know, you might even just make space in one section of your closet, you know, stuff all the items in one section, Keep one section empty and then as again we're talking through this process move the items that you absolutely love into one area so you know these are your keep it items so we're starting easy these are no brainers you have an immediate yes the next step is find the items in your closet that you absolutely don't love that are a hundred percent knows that you've been meaning to get rid of but just haven't found the time or the energy to do it this is the time go through and find those items Every time you put it on, you hate it, you take it off. Items that maybe have holes in them that aren't supposed to, items that have stains that you can't fix, items that have been sitting there for years, maybe even with the price tags and you feel guilty about them, but you just don't love them, you don't wear them. They're not something you're gonna reach for no matter what changes in your life. So these are the absolute definite no's. Take those items out and make a pile somewhere else, on your bed, on your floor, on a chair, on a bench, whatever it is, make a pile, fold them up nicely, but put them away and just, these are your no way pile. And the next thing is you wanna make sure everything else that's left in your closet is hanging up. Everything has its own hanger so you can see what it is. And you don't have anything stuffed, you know, in corners. You don't have your workout clothes in here. You have, you know, just the items in your everyday wardrobe hanging and ready for a review. Next, you're gonna go through the items that are remaining and you're gonna ask yourself, do any of these items need alterations? Is there any jeans that are too long or pants that are too long or pockets that are too big or blouses that need to be taken in? Whatever it may be. Something, if there are alterations that you need to get done but you just haven't got around to it, I want you to pull those items out and put them in a different section either in your closet, on your standing rack or somewhere else in your bedroom. Just keep those items separate. And then I want you to commit to bringing those items to the tailor and give yourself a week, two weeks max. Put a date in your planner, in your calendar saying, by this day, these items will get to the tailor. Commit to doing that. If at the end of that week or two weeks, they haven't been brought to the tailor, there's something else going on. There's some resistance to those pieces. You probably don't love those pieces and put them in the donate pile. The next thing you wanna do is look at the items that are still hanging 
and see the pieces that you really like you or you like the idea of you like the quality of but you just don't know how to style you're just not sure about how to wear those items put those items in a separate section as well and again you're going to schedule a time again maybe it's just 30 minutes maybe it's an hour but a time that you're going to spend on pinterest or some other places you look for visual inspiration for outfit ideas for example say it's a black blazer you're going to look up black blazer outfits and you're going to start to get ideas for things that you're drawn to for ways you can style that black blazer as an example or whatever other pieces you're looking for maybe it's a silk blouse a print on a blouse a skirt whatever it may be a shoe whatever that item is that you really really love or you love the idea of but you just don't know how to style it make time to find ways to get inspired to style it if you have any loungewear workout wear clothes that you only walk the dog in things like that in your closet i want you to take them off the hangers i want you to fold them as long as you wear these pieces and you like these pieces i want you to fold them and put them away in some shelves or dresser those items should not be hanging i've walked into so many closets where people have their like bathrobe hanging in their closet that's not something you're wearing every day so it's not the best place for it it's not going to help you walk into your closet and feel great about your closet if you're kind of bathrobe is one of the things you see in there. You want your closet to be pieces, every single piece be something that you love, that you know how to wear and that you feel good in. From the items that remain, go through and I want you to pull out any items that maybe you got them as gifts, maybe you spent too much on them, whatever it may be. If there's any guilt around any of these items of letting any of these items go, but you don't love the items, this is your permission to let those items go. Whoever bought you a gift that you don't really wear, or you don't like, I'm sure their intention was to give you something thoughtful, but it's okay. It's, it's about the thought, the intention that they had. It's okay to let the item go if it doesn't work for you. Or hand-me-downs, that's another one. If somebody gave you something that maybe didn't work for them, maybe it was your mom or your sister, and they're like, oh, you would feel, you would look great in this. Well, maybe you don't like the item either, but you feel guilty letting it go. It's okay to let those go. If you still have a hard time, Go back to that original intention for decluttering your closet that you wrote down what is your intention to declutter your closet what are you hoping to let go of and bring more of into your life and remember that the next thing i want you to look at from the clothes that remain is items that no longer fit now if some of these items you absolutely love you just feel like if they fit today you would wear them without a doubt if you have a concrete realistic plan to get those clothes to fit again, then I say it's okay to hold on to them for six months, up to a year at most, but only if it's a realistic plan that you're actually working towards. In the meantime, I would put these clothes, if there's more than one, I would put them kind of in the back of your closet. It's not helpful to go into your closet and have items hanging right in front of you that don't fit. So put those items in the back and in six months, reassess. For the next step, from the items that are remaining, I want you to try them on. So you're going to have a try on session, grab another glass of wine if you need to, put some more cool music on, whatever it is. Plan to try every single piece that's left hanging in your closet on. When you try it on, you're going to put the item on in the first seven seconds. What do you feel? Is this like, wow, this feels amazing. Oh, it's so comfortable. I love this color on me. Or is it yeah it's okay da, 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 whatever fill in the blank if it's not an immediate yes in the first seven seconds it's time to let that item go after that last step you might need a little break but when you're ready the next thing you want to do with the items that are left and if there are any items left you want to enlist the help of a trusted friend a spouse that will tell you the truth or someone else in your life that you trust their opinion, you know they're gonna be honest with you, that will just kind of help you see a little clearly. If you don't have someone like this in your life, you can always look for a personal stylist in your area. You can work with someone virtually. I do work virtually with people and I do help them with their closets and help them edit and organize and declutter and keep the items that are helpful. And then you're gonna to have to try on these items for them, most likely. You're gonna try them on and you can probably tell from their initial reaction what their feeling is about it if there's confusion if there's a question if it's again if it's not that immediate yes then it's time to let that item go once you've got, gone through all these last 14 steps 
give yourself some love, some self-care, whether that's a hot bath, whether that's, you know, ordering out for dinner, watching a movie, reading your favorite book, whatever it is, give yourself some downtime and just really reflect on the process. It's, it is an emotional process. Clothes do hold a lot of emotions and it's a big thing to be able to declutter and let these pieces go. And it's emotionally, or it can be emotionally draining at times. So you wanna make sure to have something that you're looking forward to at the end of this process, something that is, you know, as soon as you get to the end, you're gonna be able to really indulge in and maybe it's that piece of chocolate and just have some nice time for yourself. And for more help building a closet and a wardrobe that you love and feel great about, make sure to click on that link down in the description box to get all the details for my upcoming live virtual workshop to really help you make this year your year to declutter, organize your closet, build that foundation for your wardrobe, and know how to style and love your clothes. I hope to see you there.